Hey, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Noah Shaw or Ford Sixfo and today we're headed to Granbury, Texas to Precision Built to go pick up all of my parts for my 2022 F350 King Ranch build that we're doing here on the channel. I dropped them all off to get professionally paint matched. So let's go ahead, get to his shop and check out all the pieces and let's see how it turned out. And today we are rolling in the Bronco. If you didn't see the last video, we got it all tinted all the way around 5% and 30% on the windshield. But now we are only 12 minutes away from Precision Built. So I'm gonna give you all an update once we're rolling up. And we just made it to Precision Built Shop. He's got a little fifth gen conversion on the dually going on right there. We're about to head inside and check out all of our painted pieces. All right guys, just getting here at Precision Built and we got all of our color match pieces here. Check out the emblems. And the tail light smoked and painted all the way around, third brake light, got the grill all done up with the front emblem as well. All the paint pieces came out amazing, even did the headlights and mirrors. If you have anything you wanna send out or get paint match, just hit up Precision Built on Instagram and he'll get you set up. But we're gonna go ahead, get these parts loaded up in the Bronco to the ranch to put all these pieces back on my 2022. All loaded down now, we're gonna go ahead and get on the road home so we can finally put all these pieces back together on the truck. We got the headlights, grill, emblems, tremor valence, and all types of stuff in the back. But let's go ahead and knock these five hours of road trip back home out. All right, everyone, it is the following day and we've got my 2022 F350 behind me here that we're gonna be finally putting back together in my new shop that I'm still currently building. So I'm gonna give you all a little update on the shop and the progress, and then we're gonna show all the color match pieces and dive right into throwing them all back on the truck. So let's do it. So first things first, if you haven't seen it yet, I've got all of the walls, framing, and the garage door all laid out and welded in place. We're just waiting on the garage door. Then coming in here, we got the 22 all taken apart. And I even went ahead and took off the crash buckets on the bottom for a cleaner look with that two-wheel drive valence. But I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all all of our painted pieces that we got back from Precision Built. He did an absolutely amazing job. First piece here, we've got our grill that I went ahead and did a chrome delete on. Painted it all of the antimatter blue and the secondary color is stone gray. This color combo is insane. It's gonna look really nice when it's back on the truck. Moving on to the mirrors, we went ahead and made them all antimatter blue and even painted the mirror lens on the sides. We smoked out the third brake light and painted the middle blue. The side emblems, we did the backs, the stone gray, the sides, the blue, stone gray behind the King Ranch letters and then left them polished. Rear emblem, we did just like the front one. These tail lights are like none I've ever seen before. The whole middle, we went ahead and smoked them and all the outside in the antimatter blue. It came out amazing. They are a little bit dusty since they've been sitting on the shop floor, but once we get them on the truck, we're gonna get it all cleaned up. But then the headlights, these just turned out absolutely insane. So the side, it's really hard to see with this glare, but the side we did stone gray and the little center line, and then everything else is that antimatter blue. So we're gonna dive right into getting all of these pieces right here, thrown back on the truck. So I'm gonna throw y'all on the tripod and we're gonna get to installing all these pieces. And then a little bit more progress on the shop. I went ahead and actually got rid of the chipped epoxy. We grinded it all down, and we're gonna be doing a very nice metallic epoxy all the way everywhere across the entire floor. And then I've got all of my electrical ran everywhere that I need it for my two post lift, drop down right there. And then I went ahead and dropped six cords from the roof for our six UFO LED lights to absolutely light up this entire place like crazy. First things first, we're gonna roll in my snap-on car into the shop so we have all our tools to make this assembly super easy. First things first, I'm gonna pull back our gasket here and we're gonna line up this front right tab first into the truck. Pulling back the gasket the whole way across the headlight. And then we're gonna start sliding it in slowly. Finally, after a little bit of messing around, we've got the headlight all clipped in now. And we're going to go ahead and place all of the bolts all the way around for the light. I've got all my bolts now to fasten in the headlights. So I'm going to grab my 10 millimeter and my stubby impact. And first things first, we're going to get these top two put in on each side. Okay. 
And then for the lower side of the headlight, we've got these two 13 millimeter bolts that I'm gonna be using a small quarter inch ratchet to get it from the side. I'm gonna pull back this gasket here and then you're gonna be able to line up your headlight with the bolt. Slowly tighten it down until it gets a little tight. A little quarter turn. And just like that, that headlight assembly is done. Besides the one bolt that is also held on with the grill, we're gonna move on to the passenger side headlight now. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this headlight. And we're gonna tuck back the gasket first. Usually my favorite way to go about it, pull the plug out, get it ready. And we're gonna slowly slide in our headlight, grab our plug, and plug it into the back of the light. It's just one single connector. And then we're gonna slide the headlight in from the side, make sure we don't scratch anything, like so, and then it will drop into place, you can just slide the light back, sometimes you have to whip it up a little bit to get on the rear tabs, and just like that, snapped into place, and I've got my gasket all folded correctly, so now we can go ahead and throw those top bolts on. So I'm going to grab my 10 millimeter again. Got these two black 10 millimeter bolts up top. Just like so. Boom, not going nowhere. And then same thing on this side, we've got the one smaller 13 millimeter bolt that we're gonna put behind here. Just like that. Got our headlights all set in place and those things turned out absolutely amazing. I moved y'all out of the sun a little bit there and now we're gonna go ahead and set our bolts aside for the grill and get the grill set in place. This is probably one of my favorite pieces from the project. The first thing we're gonna do is lean it back, put in our spray washer nozzle to the front camera and the front camera power wire sensor. Clip that in, and then the grill is good to be set in place. So we're gonna slowly line it up on both sides. Make sure we get into our clips. And then we're gonna lift it up. And then we're good to throw the top bolts on. Gonna slide the grill in, start them on each part. Extra. And then we've got two nuts coming from the back side of the grill. On this side of the grill, at the end, there's actually a bolt going through that's built into the grill. And we're going to grab our nut and put it in from the back side on each end of the grill and get it all tied in down with the quarter inch ratchet with the 10 millimeter socket. Get that one pretty tight, not going nowhere. And then we're going to repeat the process on this side as well. Get the nut started to hand. And then throw it on with the ratchet. Just like that. And then moving on to the front lower section of the grill, we've got one more 10 millimeter bolt on each side hiding that we're going to throw on. That's going to fasten the front part of the bottom of the grill. And then we've got our plastic covering caps that snap on on each side of that lower section that we're as well going to throw on. They just slide in on one end and then clip right in. Super easy. And now our grill and whole front end section of the truck is complete. Oh man, that already looks 10 times better. We are good for the whole top section of the truck. I'm not gonna throw the cowl on just yet, that plastic covering piece, because I am gonna be adding some full length grill lights and my two 14 inch kit off my website, Ford6Bow.com, next week when I get home, and I'm gonna be making a video on that. So make sure you're all subscribed to the channel. But now we're actually gonna throw on our two wheel drive tremor valence on the bottom of the bumper. Just like that, we've got that Tremor two-wheel drive valence and the whole front end complete. It looks absolutely mean. We're going to move on to the side 
and do each side's side emblem badge now. Moving on to the front side badges of the truck, we're gonna gently line them up to our clips and just simply and slowly press them in until they're fully clipped all the way around. Simple as that. We're gonna move on to the second side now. Moving on to the passenger side, we're gonna repeat the same process. Line up all of our clips and then gently start to press the emblem in on each of these corners until it's clipped in just like that. Easy enough. And the look and paint match of the emblem just comes out perfect. Moving on to the mirrors of the truck, we're gonna start off with gently setting them in place into the cubby. Slowly, making sure we line it up right. Sometimes it helps if you have to close the door just to get it pressed all the way like that. And I'm gonna move on to the inside, connect all the connectors, and then we're gonna bolt up the mirror. So when I open the door, I'm gonna make sure I open it slowly so our mirror doesn't fall. Just so the side mirror doesn't fall off, we're gonna start these two nuts and then hook up all of our connectors. I'm gonna grab our 10 millimeter on the impact. And snug these down. And then we've got two bolts for the inside, further back. Now we're also going to tie them down. And then we're going to plug in our two connectors here, like so. Make sure they're in, pull on them. And then we've got our plastic cap cover that's just going to slide, snap right into place. Check out the completed side of this mirror, all antimatter blue, came out awesome. Then we're gonna go ahead and repeat that process on the driver's side. So I'm gonna grab our mirror and we're gonna slowly press it in evenly across the hole until it clips in just like that. And then we've got our plastic cover cap here. We're just gonna clip in. And we are done with the mirrors on both sides of the truck. Check it out. Moving on to the tail lights of the truck, I'm going to go ahead and lower our bed. Don't mind the trash. And we're going to set up our tail lights. We're going to put in the passenger side first. All we're going to do is hook up our one connector. Make sure it's all plugged in. Tuck the wires back. And then we're going to slowly slide it into place, pressing it into its grommets. And then you've got your two. Eight millimeter screws. Make sure you don't do these ones too tight. Barely needs any force holding it in. Check out the look of a taillight all matching and smoked out in the center. We're gonna move on to the passenger side now. Moving on to the passenger side, we're gonna repeat that same process. Plug in our connector, slowly press our taillight into each of the grommets, making sure they all line up. And just click it in nice and easy. Grab our two 8 millimeter screws and our impact, and then slowly tighten these down. Just like that. Boom. Tail lights are set in place, and they look super slick. Matching all the way around, those taillights really finished up the look of the back end. Only other thing we need to do here is get this little tiny rear emblem set in place. So the last thing we're going to go ahead and do here is press in this rear emblem right here into its clips. Press it in real nice and tight so it doesn't go anywhere. And just like that, the rear emblem's in as well. Looks absolutely perfect. Last piece of the puzzle here, we've got our nice third brake light. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our sensor for, it's got a few here, so I'm gonna pull back the sensor. We're gonna get it all plugged in. And then I went ahead and slowly ran down all of the bolts to the third brake light and it is in and flush. You don't have to put much force on those bolts at all. And that is the last piece of the puzzle. Now that I've got all of the pieces put back together on the 2022, we're gonna go ahead and pull it out, take it, get it a wash, and get y'all some cinematic videos to see the finished product. So let's go ahead and do it.
Now we're gonna go ahead and get the 2022 all cleaned up and sprayed down. All right guys, that's gonna kind of wrap it up for today's video. Putting the 2022 F350 King Ranch build back together, all color match. Make sure y'all subscribe and stay tuned to the channel. We're gonna be doing a lot more to this 22, including a striker eight inch lift, some 26 by 16, custom forge wheels on 38s, and some other small modifications like a five inch DPF back, TSO exhaust, and other things like that. But other than that, if y'all like the video, make sure you leave a like down below, comment, let me know what you thought about it, and stay tuned for future videos. Thank y'all for watching.